presents Jacob Miller. There are so many lines you can hold in a face that is all living through the years of a life. And a story is told with every fold And deep in his eyes lies the pain and the grace From long ago years through whiskey and tears He weathered the changes that come to us all And he held to the fight of the things he knew right But the choices he made seemed clear back then And we dream a lot of days gone by But life goes on my friend so take the old and make it new you can't go back again so you just released your first album who we are mm -hmm. and you created your own label to do it yeah yeah i, I recorded the album with a, a friend a producer down in miami and uh you know with all the headlines about the industry changing i just decided to with him do a partnership and start a a label and put it out on a boutique distributor and, and do it that way. We're distributing Transworld stores via a boutique distributor called Stretch the Skies and it's you know a CD Baby-esque artist friendly artist you know they help the artist get their music out there and so we did a contract with them and it's really cool. Well he heard the call of men in war and action pure of heart but with orders blaring Bullets wearing what once was whole was now a part. The spirits of all was fused in the fall, and the lies bled away in the flames. Battered and bruised, empty and used, no longer a player of games. And we dream a lot of days gone by, but life goes on, my friend. So take the old. Started the label dog leg. Mm -hmm. Now, how, what's the process behind that? Like, how, how how much harder is it for you to put your own album out on your own label? Well, I think the logistics of just getting it out there. I mean, you just have to have people that have the infrastructure in place. But I mean, you know, it's just making those connections. Uh, the hard part is, you know, winning, you know, the the hearts of, of fans. <laughs> you know, so that's that's what takes the. The, the most legwork and, and getting exposure and all that. So. How are you winning the hearts of your fans? You know, one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> now the crowd's thinning out, it's time to head on home. The things you trust, they'll turn to dust. The story is in stone. And we dream a lot of days gone. Back again. Playing out a lot? Yeah, yeah. I just moved to New York uh, from Miami. I grew up in Miami. Every city sort of has its poetry and its music that just is is weaved through, you know, the essence of it, you know, and, and I think Miami has that and so I definitely think it comes through in what I'm doing. I just think inspiration comes from anywhere, you know. It could come in, you know, your cup of coffee or as lofty a place as the Met or something, looking at a at a you know a masterpiece. It's you just have to be open to receiving it, you know?